Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing Capcom's side scrolling arcade classic, Ghost and Goblins. The year is 1985, and it was a big time for moviegoers. Iconic classics such as Back to the Future, The Goonies, Breakfast Club, Weird Science, A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, and many others came out this year. With this list of hits being pumped out, naturally there will be big crowds at the movies. And what was at the movies? Arcade games. Now remember, at the time there were no smartphones, internet, or social media. So arcade games were a good way to kill time, and because of the big crowds, the games that came out around this time became iconic classics as well. One such classic was Ghost and Goblins. In this game, you play as Arthur, a knight who is having some alone time with the princess at a graveyard in the middle of the night with no clothes on, when suddenly she got abducted by Satan. You must don the legendary armor constructed by the world's worst armorer and go fight through six monster-filled stages to rescue her. If you're a retro gamer, then you are already familiar with this title and its ridiculous difficulty. If you haven't, then I'll fill you in. The game is one of the hardest games of all time, and it's so hard that when you thought you beat the game, you have to go through it all over again. I mean, that sucks. But never mind all that, because the real arcade experience was that nobody ever got past the third or fourth board. If you got far into the game, you were considered some kind of freak of nature. However, all the arcade games during this time was extremely difficult. Your quarter really did not go far during this period of arcade history, so believe it or not, Ghosts and Goblins was to us considered normal. One of the more notable aspects of Ghosts and Goblins, what really made it stand out from the rest, was the music. The score fit perfectly with the game's theme and became quite memorable. In the 80s, Ghosts and Goblins was an arcade game that was pretty much everywhere. It spawned a series of sequels, spin-offs, and was ported over to a number of home consoles and classic collections, making Ghosts and Goblins one of Capcom's best-selling franchises of all time. Ghosts and Goblins left a hefty legacy and is one of the more distinguished games in video game history. So play the game and let me know what you think.